Hello, hello, lovely people of Earth. We have Almeray again. What hell is like in different countries? This title, not gonna lie, has me curious. So we're just gonna <laughs> see what. I like how it's different. Not it's not different cult, uh, different religions. It's different countries. So okay, let's let's just watch. The truth is. There are no consequences in this life. So what we need to do, if we're going to straighten this country out, I'm sure you agree with me, Rhoda, when I say this, we need to bring back to Great Britain a sense of hell, right? The idea, if we fuck up in this life, we will burn in sulphur for all eternity in the next life. Now, I realise this is going to be quite hard to convince you of, but it's a brilliant idea. Yeah, uh, now, I need a Christian for some assistance here. Theolo I'm not going to have a pop. I need theological assistance. Do we have any Christians present? Yeah, there's a bit of point in there. Yeah, what's your name, love? Gail, beautiful British name. There's <laughs> a joke in there about you blowing. Anyway. No. I can't be bothered with this at this like, stage of the evening. What do you got you blowing something off? Now, the. <laughs> Truth is, you're a Christian, so you, 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 you go to church, so you understand the idea of redemption, the idea of forgiveness. You understand the idea of Christ laying down his life so that we may be forgiven our sins? <laughs> you understand all that? Yeah, you understand, the, basically, you understand the notion of eternity. Dude, she's so uncooperative. This is frustrating me. <laughs> I imagine he's being frustrated, but, um... Dude, it's so frustrating to be on stage and, and ask the audience something and have them not answer, not w or ask the whole room something and not have one person answer. It's so... I hate that. Don't you? <laughs> you understand all that? Yeah, you understand the, basically you understand the notion of eternity, don't you, love? Yeah, well, so do I, because I went to church last weekend. Let me tell you this, that service went on for fucking ever. <laughs> Listen, right? If it took me 45 minutes to open the wine and get the bar snacks out, I'd be in the deepest fucking shit. <laughs> The truth is, the problem with the idea of hell is no one's frightened of it anymore. I'm going to describe hell for you now, and you're not going to bat an eyelid, are you? You're not going to bat a fucking eyelid, yeah? Uh, here we go. And while your body's mouldering in the grave and the worms are eating your flesh, your soul will be taken to a place of eternal and infernal damnation and boiled in boiling oil for a thousand generations. Then after this, two sulfurous demons, emissaries of Satan himself, will come and pull out your kidneys and burn them on the red-hot coals of hell until they're black. And then another demon will come and pull out your eyeballs and stick them on the red-hot poker and shove them up your arse and they'll come out your mouth. And this will really hurt and go on forever. <laughs> None of you particularly bothered by that, are you? <laughs> if that be a room for the Londoners, we're all thinking, well, come on then! <laughs> Join yourself the fucking devil, you pointy tail cunt! Come on! Whoa, that's a lot of people. We the fucking bleach! Nah. <laughs> remember it. Now, the point is, when you describe hell, it tells you everything you need to know about the person describing it, yeah? I describe hell then in a normal British accent, and it turns out we're not frightened of it, because we, the British, are stoic, hard as nails fucking people. Hell, when described in an accent, tells you everything you need to know about the people describing it. It's an interesting thing. For instance, hell, described in a French accent, tells you the French are a bunch of sensuous, yeah, lascivious, filthy people who can find pleasure in absolutely anything, right? Yeah, I mean, hell, described in a French accent, sounds like a recipe, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and while the body is lying down on the worms inside the flesh, we take it to a place which is very hot and cover it in oil. And after this, we have got the oil all over the body, and when it is tender, we take out the kidneys and cook them to the brown on the outside. This is still going to be done with some white wine vinegar from Florida tomorrow. And after this, we take the eyeballs, piece of the poker, have the after out of the mouth. Disgusting! <laughs> Hell, in an American accent, sounds like a theme park, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, while you're lying down, the worms are in your flesh. You'll be taken to a place of return and full of enemies. <laughs> well, your body will be covered in boiling oil, and two demons will come and out, take out your kidneys, and burn them on the red-hot coals of hell itself. Then after this, another demon will come, pull out your eyeballs, place them on a red-hot poker, stick them up your ass, and they'll come out your mouth. <laughs> yeah, with a lot of flu. Hell, in a German accent, just simply sounds like a list of instructions. <laughs> Hell... <laughs> Hell, in a Dutch accent, sounds like a pretty good stag do, actually, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, why are you lying down? <laughs> <laughs> the 
worms inside you, yeah, we'll take you to the hottest place you can imagine. Imagine, <laughs> imagine being so hot you can't stand it no longer. And then we cover your body in oil all over you. Oil, oil all over you. And once you're covered in oil, two demons, two together at the same time. That's right. The accent he's doing, the voice, the particular voice and the way he's doing it reminds me so much of just the go-to voice of Ryan Stiles when he had to do a bunch of things on Whose Line Is It Anyway. It just, my mind just brought that picture back. You wanted to be two things. We're coming to take out your kids to the pink and heart. And this will cost you 40 euros. It's too much. There is, however, one group of people who can teach us a true lesson about hell and who we should listen to, who can help us turn this country round. I am, of course, talking about Her Majesty's loyal and noble subjects, the Scots. Now, <laughs> we got any jocks in tonight? Yeah. Loads of jocks. Jock down there. What's your name, son? Jamie. Jamie. Beautiful British name. Comes from the ancient Celtic name, meaning subject of the English. Now. <laughs> Tell me, Jamie, where are you from in Scotland, sir? Edinburgh. Edinburgh. So you have a keen understanding of the notion of hell. Now... <laughs> my fucking colour radio gone. Oh, in his arm. Now... <laughs> you have a keen understanding. What do you do for a living, Jamie? Property developer. Property developer. Are you an evil property developer? <laughs> of course. They all are. Now... <laughs> you like buy old flats and do them up going... <laughs> <laughs> Point is this. You jocks, you work hard, you play hard, don't you? Don't you, Jamie? You get stuck in! Yeah, Scots get stuck in. The jocks, you get stuck in, don't you? Yeah? Yeah, you get your nose on the grindstone. You work hard, you play hard. And the reason for this, you take, the reason you take life seriously is because you understand the notion of hell. And the reason you understand hell is because hell, in a Scottish accent, is the most terrifying fucking thing <laughs> you will ever hear. Yes? And why your body is smouldering in the grave! <laughs> eating your flesh! <laughs> your soul would be thick at the place of a puddle and then fuddle damnation! <laughs> boiling, boiling oil for a thousand fucking generations! <laughs> <laughs> and then who self first demons ever sees a Satan himself? Bells above the dark lawn will come and they'll put ooh your kidneys! They'll put ooh your kidneys! And they when they'll put ooh your kidneys! <laughs> And then they'll throw it, take those kidneys while they're still beating, and they'll place them on the red, hot, cold of hell itself, and bum, 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 <laughs> bum, those fucking kidneys to the black. And then another demon in hell come in and pull out your eyeballs, eh? Right? <laughs> so pull, your, pull out your eyeballs, little Jamie, and pull out when they when they go pop, pop, go the eyeballs. I'll take that red hot hellish poker and I'll stick him on a poker and I'll find a tiny wee shiting arsehole. <laughs> and I'll you shite when it's came and I'll shy arsehole like that. And I'll come out of your mouth and you'll shy it out. It's for fucking ever. So then I'll hire like 50 beef for a cup of tea, please, God. <laughs> now I know what he went by each country. <laughs> oh boy. That was interesting. Never gave any of that any thought ever in my entire life. Very interesting. I, 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 I wanted to hear the German accent, and I kind of, I don't know why. I thought for some reason he was going to go, you know, more worldwide and, and do more like a Chinese accent or something like that. I don't know why. <laughs> I thought he was going to go, like, you know, further from where he is and just more broad and... and Whatever, it doesn't matter. Very fun, very entertaining. He made a point. Definitely made a point. Um, makes you think, right? Yeah. You learn something new every day, people. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. This is fun. I mean, why not? Definitely can watch more of this, man. But for now, this is it. I am off. So whatever you guys are off to do, have fun, enjoy life. Because if you're not enjoying life, what's the point? Goodbye, everybody.